The Walt Disney Company has released a new entry into their We Call It Imagineering series on the Disney Parks YouTube channel. In it, we are given our very first glimpse into Two Times by Adventure. Let's share our initial reactions to this controversial attraction here on That Park Place Podcast online. Or, as we like to call it, T3PO. Hey we now have our first video from within the mountain oh. itself right well, they're, here. They're, here let, they're letting all their pre-approved shills talk about how great it is, essentially. <laughs> yes, well, I think uh, one is the Imagineer. I think Trader Carter's back there. I don't know who the uh, other person is, but but the, the the gentleman in the front is the one who composed the new sign. Uh, I'm sorry, the new song for the attraction, the original song uh, that you hear at the end right there. We can't play it on uh, we, we can't play it on this stream because, well, we will get taken down probably for sure. And I should probably skip through this rather than <laughs> rather than play it outright. Uh, but you can see the water tower right there. Um, and you can see this first lift hill that I believe in the Walt Disney World version had Br'er Frog Br'er there. Frog. Yeah, think- Br'er, Br'er Frog was, was right there. And he was like, uh, ah, that Br'er Rabbit going to put his foot in Br'er Fox's mouth one of these days. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, we at the Disneyland version, we have uh, the, the an owl that is uh, mm-hmm. supposed to be an homage to uh, Western River Expedition that was never built. But, Hoot but OK, I get that. Yeah, uh, who yeah. gets in there? Uh, no, Andy's man, this is not, these aren't fences covering up the old scenes. Uh, the, I, I guess these walls were added, I believe in the 2010s. They used to be, they used to be like a, it's like a, it was like a rail made of ropes and they put up these fences, which they did paint by the way, for this version of the ride. There is a mural of like these fruits and vegetables, I guess on painted on this fence right here and it's not consistent at all with the 1920s 1930s aesthetic that they are so in other words i go to a theme park to get away from all the highways with advertising that i drove through to get to the theme park it's Uh, like it's like the billboards on i4 or whatever it is down there yeah uh replicated in non-historic nonsense is that the fruit and vegetable thing you were talking about over this there? This is the, the fruit right? and vegetable thing I was talking oh about. Yes, it, it looks oh. like something hanging over the uh, 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 produce section at, at Publix. It's yeah, I was terrible. Say it looks like a super, it looks like a supermarket. The packing by the packing in the chat in the chat just said Lou the fireworks billboards from south of the border. Yeah, right, right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> funny, that's well, funny. Cas- Cas- so that's- and that's uh, how it starts, gang. That's how it starts. This is the first, li- you know, oh, sorry, I should say second lift of the attraction, but really the first themed portion of this whole adventure you know, right here. And we're starting it off with this mural. Mur- I'll call it a murinal. <laughs> <laughs> that's murinal, probably the most murinal. appropriate name, actually, for it. Fox and uh, s- I hope everybody uh, out there is not hearing us as just being uh, derisive for sort of meanness sake. What we're being is regretful and and disappointed and mm-hmm. finding no redeeming excuse value in how they did this. I, I actually will say one positive thing that I'm noticing here. At least the animatronics do not have screens for faces again. Well, like that's yeah. Frozen. Yeah, that was a conscientious decision by Imagineering to, to not do that. Because um, it's terrible. It's they are they are not good. So we're and, we're seeing pockets of audio animatronics here. It it does look pretty sparse in some areas. I, I you know some people were yeah. saying, well, they're going to spread them out. You're not going to necessarily notice it. You notice it in the footage that we have been seeing here. And spreading um, it out makes it worse. If you only have one where there used to be twelve, it's calls attention to look as one. Yeah, that is that is true. Oh, we'll, we'll get into that in just a moment. But uh-huh. but you can see some critters uh-huh. here. This is and this is all, by the way, sourced from the uh, we we call it imaginary YouTube show that uh, imaginary has put out right here. You can see some by you missed uh, that has been featured here. And that's going to be the headline, tell, you know, when it opens by you missed. <laughs> this is the slip and fall section. So the idea here. Yeah, the by you missed. OK, magic. This is, is them turning you into the size of a frog so that you can join the band later on. Looks like the, the eye of Mara, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, well it yeah, uh, it kind of it does. So this is this is you supposed to be the, 
a, a very small size here. This is why everything is oversized in this section. Uh, this was formerly the laughing place, and you can kind of tell that that is exactly what this is. Now, oh no. there is a projection right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be at the yeah. uh, left of your screen right here. That looks very, very, very bad. Like, it's literally just a screen in a pocket of this very vast and open and empty uh, set or scene. It's called and there's like no attention a screen to all the other the stuff corner. behind the curtain. <laughs> it's, you can kind it's, of see that. It's the Wizard of Oz show. It's, Pay no attention to all the emptiness around you with the bad colors. Mm -hmm. Look at this Nido Kino projection. And look, when this, this was predictable. When this had, like, you cannot go from 60 plus other animatronics to dozens and and uh, expect the same result. Go ahead, Marvin. Yeah, remember when this whole area had those really fun turtles that were being lifted up while they were laughing with the water and just this is generally like beloved area. Good Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And this is basically the laughing place. I mean, there's some mushrooms and there's some paint, but it is. The ah. place, you can tell. Now that you say uh, it, it tells me what kind of mushrooms those are. <laughs> the ones that make you laugh. Uh, we are now entering Oh, the this is finale. what I want to see, the big finale, yes. Yes, we're now oh, entering the no. finale. Again, another sign. This is two signs, folks, to tell you what is going on. Now, people will know that there was a banner before uh, with the previous version of Splash yeah, Mountain. That's the, true, but it, remember, it was painted on by the 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 brayers themselves and welcoming yes. Brer Rabbit back, not necessarily telling you what happened or where you're at, but as part of the story. Here, they explicitly tell you what 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 is happening. So here we go. Let's go forward here a little bit. Is this like the zippity doodah, like with the like this is where the boat was and everything? Oh. Yes, yeah, the boat. That, that's where so the, the, the zippity lady. Was. The Zippity Lady River boat that was swaying, by the way, a huge, big effect, was at the end of what this long shot right here. This this manor looking structure, which is supposed to be Tiana's Palace. That's where Zippity Lady the River boat used to be. You can see uh, Charlotte and Tiana's mom over there on your left. On the right, you have a series of projections within this kind of uh, atrium uh, structure right here. Bash, you know what this uh, is showing me? That every, it, when Pro did his video a few weeks ago on all the leaks about this, they were all right. Yes. Yep. All 100% we, accurate. I'm seeing everything absolutely. that you talked about here. Oh, yes. Oh, we were we were very much uh, correct. Uh, these were very consistent with what we were, we were we were hearing internally. Pro has been he's had amazing sources, but he's also been able to uh, share this information. You can see this Spanish moss that they're using a lot here to hide the seams of this uh interior structure right here and so that you 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 know you focus and your your eye is drawn to what they want to draw you to but you can see they they kind of overuse it so it becomes a little bit distracting at least in my eyes you can see right here uh this is where louis the alligator is he's on a very short loop from what we can see as part of this which we'll get to in a moment but you can see tiana in a dress in a gown not her typical gown that you used to see in the parks you can see that beaver right there. You can see Naveen's uh, brother here. You can see Naveen himself finally in his tux, it looks like. And the critters are performing. This is also where the original song that they have composed for this ride. And I believe the actual uh, writer and composer for the actual song himself uh, actually states that in this video. Like, oh, I wrote this. Uh, this is where it plays. I can't play, play you it here. I wish I could. But it is very generic. I mean, it literally sounds like somebody generated it with AI and just plugged it in, uh, uh, you know, utilizing Tiana's voice and so forth. And then here we go. Anika Nani Rose. There are there are things I like about this and there are things I don't. The well, people look, look cool. I, people look cool. There's a possum there that looks kind of cool. Some of the lighting here, Lewis, I actually I mean, Lewis, actually Lewis like. Lewis looks great. Lewis looks like a good animatronic. That's that's a pretty good one. He he does look he does look pretty good. I still have problems with his neck area a little bit, some wrinkling. I also he's on a very short loop. So if, if there's any backup, remember, this is very close to load unload. If there's any backup whatsoever, you're going to notice that loop. It, 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 I think mm -hmm. I think we collected it at like four seconds. That's how much animation they're giving him, uh, which was unfortunate to hear some projections and so forth. But this is the most th this is predominantly where most of the audio electronics are. And some of these uh, are very simplistic figures, only about one or two functions uh, at that. If we go forward here, we see a shot of, uh, oh, this is earlier in the attraction. It kind of jumps a little bit. This is earlier. 
you can see how there are pockets of audio animatronics that they're lighting specifically, and then there's no lighting in the other areas, so you don't Correct. pay attention to how sparse they are. Right, 100%. Uh, so we can see that. This seems to be at the very end of the attraction right here. You can see o uh, Odie on to the side right there, just before you're about to disembark. I believe this is where Brer Rabbit was kind of laying down, and you know he was like, hey, you know, just got back, wonderful and this is my home. Feeling wonderful day. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's where that is. You can see this kind of green wall right here. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if that's finished or, or what, but it's is, pretty is that, prom at, prominent at, here. At, at Disneyland, like there's that part in the queue yeah. where you can look through and see that finale. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. That's where that is. That's right. absolutely where it is, there, uh, there, Lou. There, there's Mama Odie with her classic line, he will walk into the Library of Congress and smash <laughs> the Constitution <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> you can see everyone's, a pile of everyone's right favorite here. Mama Odie line. <laughs> um, um, you were not prepared for that one, were you, Vash? No, I was no. not. I was. <laughs> I know exactly what you're referring to. Uh, he's he mentally unwell, I believe, is the uh, quote there. Okay, so so uh, I know mentally ill people. Uh, we can see the uh, beignets right here. I believe the snake is where that's going to be. But we have now seen the majority of what they have on offer, folks. This is wow. it. This is what we're getting. And this is what they are choosing to promote. With. Because it's all they've got. Literally. Because and what you're saying is if they had something better, it would be in here. I, I, that's exactly what I'm saying. And, yeah. and, they, and yeah. honestly, they've spoiled the entire finale uh, for, mm -hmm. for people, which to me says they might not be confident in how this thing actually goes, especially with people I, you know, engaging you in uh, cast member previews and so forth. Well, you don't think the, the universal like ban on uh, on filming the photos during the ride wasn't immediately proof of that. I mean, we, yeah. we used to see, you know, we would, have, you would see pl like places like uh food blog and all those other places posting up their videos. The second cast member previews hit. So, I mean, the fact that they don't want you to see anything, this is akin to a studio that holds their review embargo until like the day the movie comes out. That's, that's exactly, that's the, that's the vibe I'm getting from right here. I, and, and I understand that people might have an alternative viewpoint on, on this and showing this much footage. I don't think it it's it's them showing that they're confident with this attraction to, in my eyes. I think they're uh, trying to sell it and put its best foot forward and give people a sense of what to expect on this attraction. But to me, if they were very confident, think about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for a second. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge before it opened, they didn't show off anything for that. We yeah. had no idea what Rise of Resistance looked like on the inside, outside of the AT, AT walkers that you could see from the exterior and and, you know, some concepts of, of what they were building. But other than that, we didn't know what Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Runner looked like. We didn't know what the large sections of the land like Black Spire Outpost uh, Outpost looked like. And everybody was clamoring for anything that they can get their hands on. And then they just showed it. So to me, based on that previous experience, them showing the entirety of the ride and and with the, as high quality cameras as they can possibly get so that um, because they know that this is going to be recorded by all types of cameras, right? Mm -hmm. Them getting ahead of that and showing it in, in its best foot. Does that to you sound like they are confident? I'm not so sure. A couple of things about that. Please. What you said about other people with their lousy cameras. Yeah. Now, now they have an excuse when umpteen bloggers post their camera views well, yeah, but they were using inferior. It's better than that. Honest. We have pros. Look, here it is. Yeah. Secondly, yeah. considering the delays, the things not working, the general things not working throughout the parks lately and breaking very soon after opening lately, how much of this video is to placate the people who go expecting they can write it and find it? Oh, sorry, that's shut down today. Oh, that's a fair point. Uh, well, this is what I you missed. Come back again, really. Well. And this is the most range of motion you'll ever get from these figures, by the way, because yeah. once WDI hands uh, does the handoff to ops, it's ops's job to maintain this. And historically, we just we simply haven't seen that to the degree that it never WDI gets better. Prefer. It only gets worse. Exactly. Well, I mean, you look at the way 100%. you look at what Tron you look at what Tron looks like now inside, like in the queue. It's filthy. Yeah. Utterly yeah. filthy. That's that's park operations and how much they want to spend on this thing. If they were very confident in this, I think they they would have they would have held back at least on the finale. The fact that they showed it really does uh, say a lot right here. And I do agree this attraction isn't outright horrible. I'm not saying that's the worst thing ever, but it is, you know, it is what it replaced, which was 
honestly, in my view, a superior attraction. Kate, and one, I, I got to disagree with you on this grounds. I don't know if you've seen those videos of the Fantasy Spring stuff where the, the, the three major dark rides for that are up now to be seen. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the Tangled one and the Peter Pan one and the Frozen mm -hmm. one. And by the way, the Peter Pan one, I would say, is 75% screens. But it's still better than any of this, and it's being built now. I will not begin to compare when uh, – what year did uh, Splash originally open? Uh, 1989 at Disneyland, yeah. 1990 at Disney World. So, you know, to compare something from 89 to something from 2024 – and find out it's worse. Never mind the theming or the number of animatronics. It just isn't polished. It just isn't thought out story-wise. It just isn't. That's the issue. That's the issue, is that yeah. they didn't come up to their own best standards. And yes, you're right. It is out of place there. But of yes, course, now I, they want to I, change the I, place always, to match the ride. I've always thought that they have a, they. here's the thing, Walt Disney World, people are already going there. They're going there no matter what. That's why I feel like they put far less effort into improving and maintaining Walt Disney World than they would to a Tokyo or a or a Paris or a Disneyland even or Hong Kong or Shanghai because they have to draw people there. People are people are go Walt Disney World is self-sustaining. People are being pulled in already. Yes, it's starting to go down, and they might have to. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have a uh, oh dear moment where they're gonna have to like turn around and try and shake things up but i think that that's why you're seeing such innovations in other parks and you're not seeing them in walt disney world that was a highlight from our live stream on that park place where the full recording can be found on the that park place youtube channel exclusive to members so what do you think about this hotly contested attraction do you feel that the imagineers pulled it off or did they drop the ball should they have even attempted replacing such a beloved attraction splash mountain in the first place or was it worth the controversy division effort and of course money Please let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you did like this video. Share this video as it helps us out tremendously against the YouTube algorithm. And thank you so much for watching T3PL. Please comment, like, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to That Park Place Podcasts Online, your source for exclusive content and highlights from WDW Pro, The Pro Show, and That Park Place for all the news that should be fun.